I want to ask you if you have ever been injected with the sodomite demon. Have you ever had that demon injected in you? Now, I tell women, and I preach this all the time in our church, I say, you know, if you have sexual intercourse with a man and he plants his semen inside of you, that semen, whether it makes you pregnant or not, uh, enters into your blood system. It go, your womb is a place for the receptacle and it goes into your blood system. And whatever he has in his blood is in your blood. And for instance, if he has a disease in his blood through his semen, and the, the semen is the cream of the blood, semen is produced by the blood. It is the cream, it is the, it is the power, it is the cream of blood. That's just no other way to say it. It isn't blood itself, it is even more powerful than blood. It can actually produce life, semen. But if your blood, if a man puts his semen in you, I teach women, that, and if it's disease, you're gonna get that disease. You got whatever that, whether it's AIDS or syphilis or uh, one of these other diseases, you're gonna get it, because it's gonna go right into your blood system, right through your vagina, right through your womb. If a man injects himself in you, if a man injects himself in another man and injects his semen into him and he's crazy, then that's going to get in his blood as well. And if demons are in him, then those demons, are, you're going to get penetrated by demons. You're going to get penetrated by demons. You know, even the kissing of someone who has demons in their blood, that saliva can give you a disease. I posted up on our announcement board that sodomy is metastasized here in Harlem and people in restaurants and our dates need to be very, very careful. Why am I saying all of this? I'm saying this to, to say to you, perhaps you first got introduced to these demons in your life, sodomy, when you had no defense.